Hi guys, this is Tech Howdy. I welcome you to another video tutorial on creating this ASP.NET Core featured image gallery with Angular 8. In the last video tutorial, we finished integrating the tabulator table and we have added the functionality to filter our results based on the column names that we have. Now, for the save changes button, we don't actually have anything to implement because we are saving the changes when we are editing the gallery itself in the pop-up model window so here i will leave this button as it is and i will not implement any method here but in case if you want to and if you want to play around with the tabulated table there are different uh, tabulated table examples that you can find out one of them is editing the row live by clicking on it and you can edit the row and then you can instead of having multiple buttons over here you can just have one save button or you can leave this button as it is so when we move on to the phase two of this uh, project we can add a button to export this particular table into an excel sheet like an excel report so we'll do that in the next phase so if you don't want either of those you can remove this button and you can just have two buttons over here for reload calories and to clear the filter now going to the next uh, thing that we or task we have to do is to display our galleries which are featured and active which is featured and active on our home page so this is the finished product and if i go to the home page you can see i can see the gallery being displayed on the home page featured slider section this is done using angular 8 we are not going to use now any c sharp code we are going to move to our client app development where we will be building our page home page these blocks that you see are blog posts created by users which will appear here when we have this project completed or whenever we add the blog post but currently in this phase where we are building the featured slider now our responsibility is to show the slider over here when it is featured and active so let's implement this in the project inside the client app so we have our client app which we will be start we will start working on it now so let's go back to visual studio code and start working on it so first thing that we want to do is open our client app in terminal and then we will add our uh, services folder with the gallery service the gallery service will help us to communicate with our web api so this service class will be responsible for the communication of our client app to the asp.net core web api so now to create a service class within a service folder we are going to use the ng generate service that's S for inside services folder. So as we don't have any folder called as services, so it will be generated and we will call this service as gallery, uh, uh, gallery, gallery service. So just leave it as gallery. We don't need to do anything else. So if we hit enter, uh, we have the inside client app if you go to source inside your app folder you'll have a new folder called as services and inside services you should have your service class which is gallery.service.ts created so we didn't add any service extension since we used we are generating a service uh, angular 8 is smart enough and it has added dot service after the name of the service class so we have gallery service class created now inside the gallery service class first what we want to do 
is since we are going to communicate with the web api we need an http client since we are going to communicate over http protocol that is http get so we need to have an http client so to create an http client object first we will instantiate it inside the constructor we will call the object as http and it's of type http client now http client is not available inside this class so we have to import http client from rxj from angular common http so as you saw here when i directly clicked on the import link it imported it from selenium web driver and that is the wrong library we need to import http client from angular common forward slash http so this is the correct place where we will import this module from http client module <laughs> so don't make the mistake and make sure you have the correct import statement now we have the http client object next thing that we want to do is we need to add all the required endpoints that are related to the gallery service or that are related to the gallery controller so a gallery controller has various types of endpoints one is to update the gallery one is to delete the gallery one is to create new gallery and one is to get a featured gallery basically the one which we are going to target is to get the featured gallery <coughs> so the gallery controller class does not have as of yet any method called as get featured gallery so we have to create this method which will return a api response with the data which contains all the featured gallery images so that we can display it on the home page if you look at uh, the finished project you see that we are having a featured image gallery being displayed over here therefore we need to have a endpoint that returns these values for the remaining values you don't need to pay attention because we are not working on adding deleting or creating new gallery in this phase so all we are interested in this api since we want to display the featured gallery so before we go ahead and create this api let's finish creating this gallery service class so now what we want to do is we want to create an observable type of object that will store all the data that is returned from this endpoint so let's create that object so here i have created the object and here at the end of the object name i have added a dollar symbol dollar symbol don't get confused is just a naming convention when you want to differentiate between regular objects and observable type of object this observable type of object is returning an array which contains all the galleries so we will create the gallery object now before we go ahead and create that first we need to add the missing reference to observable uh, type since we are going to use observable types we need to import observable types so let's go ahead and add the observable types so let's import observable module from rxjs and now we should not get an error now since we are going to return objects of type gallery we need to have an interface created which contains all the properties related to gallery so let's go ahead and create that interface so once again i will go ahead and open the terminal and here i will create an interface so ng generate interface I will create a folder called as interfaces and within that folder I will create my interface called as gallery now I'll hit enter and you see that there is a folder created as interface and we have a gallery interface dot ts file created which contains an interface called as gallery now inside this gallery interface we are going to add the required properties that associate with our gallery so let's do that
So here are the list of properties that I have added. I have added a gallery ID because the gallery will contain a gallery ID. A gallery will contain a title, the path of the gallery, the gallery type, whether it's a featured gallery, homepage gallery, or whether it's a category gallery or a brand gallery. There's a type associated with each gallery. The username who created the gallery, the alt text on the image, the caption of the image, the description of the image, the image ID, and the image path itself. If you have created more than these more more than these properties that which I created, then you would need to add those properties as well if you want to show them on the browser. But for now, in this project, these are the following properties that we have created in our database related to the gallery images. So I have created these properties over here. For the question mark over here, which simply means that this uh, data type can be null, which means I can accept null values for the gallery ID. Okay, so when we are creating a gallery, when we write the code to create a gallery using Angular, the ID of the gallery is created by the database. So we cannot predefine an ID. Therefore, ID can be null. Therefore, we have left this uh, particular property as can accept null. Now we can save this and go back to the gallery service.ts class and then add the missing reference to import gallery from interface gallery. By doing this, we will no longer see any errors. Now we need to create a method inside our service class that is responsible to return uh, the list of galleries. Now, so we are going to call this method as get featured home gallery. That's because we are only interested in the featured home gallery images since we want to display them on the home page. The method itself is going to return an observable type of gallery array. Now for observable, we have used observable type because observable type uh, detects or keep track of any changes on themselves. So any data or any changes take place, if an object is of type observable, it will keep a track of that change and it will emit help us other components to know about that change because it will emit there are different types of observables which emit the values and whoever or whichever component is subscribed to this observable will get the current values now i'm not going to going into details in what are observable types since i've completed a full project on angular if you uh, go to my channel and you will find the full project on Angular and have explained these observable types. We have used different types of observables like behavior subjects in, in our application. So if you have time, go through it or go through the Angular documentation on observable types and get to know more about it. So here what's happening is the get feature home gallery function will return an array of gallery we'll need to grab this information and then subscribe to it but first thing what we want to do is we want to check if the gallery object that we have already contains some data so there is a user in my application when goes to my application for the first time he loads the home page and he sees some bunch of images these images are returned by my server. Now, every time the user refreshes the page, I don't want the application to go and hit the server and get the data back. If I already have the data, what I want to do is I want to store this data inside my browser cache. And every time the user tries to refresh the page or moves around different tabs, I want to get the same data from my browser cache instead of my server because already I have the data. So to do that, we are going to make use of this method which is called as share replace an operator that is a part of RxJS operator. So we are going to import share replay from RxJS operators and using share replay we will store the data that we received inside the browser cache. Now you can play around with share replay 
there are different parameters in share play like how long you want to store this data after how long you want this data to be refreshed so you can add those parameters based on your requirements since this is not within the scope of this project i will not be explaining share replay in detail but for a high level of understanding please understand that share replay will help us to replay the same data from the browser cache that we are going to get from the api call now to call our api we needed an http client object so we are using our http client object that we instantiated in the constructor now we are going to make a get request therefore we are going to call the dot get method and what we are going to return or what we are going to expect as result is the array of gallery so that we are going to pass as the data type over here and then within the get method we need to specify the endpoint which this method needs to hit and the endpoint is stored inside this variable called as base url feature home and we are passing that over here then whatever result we get first we want to call the pipe method now pipe method is used to execute different methods in a sequence so if you have any other methods the pipe method any method inside this will be executed in a sequence so the second method will not be executed first so the share replay method will be executed first and then if you have any other methods that will be executed so the pipe helps us to execute methods in a sequence so the first method that we want to execute is store this data in our browser cache so that we can replay it again now once we get the data we are assigning it to this object called as gallery now as we didn't have any data so we assigned it to this gallery now the second time when the user refreshes the browser and it tries to get the featured home gallery first we are going to check if gallery object already contains some data if it already contains some data then we are going to just return it if it does not then we are going to call the endpoint so that's all this method does over here it's returning an observable type of gallery now please note an observable type will return objects so it's going to return a single result it's not going to return one image one image description one image all text at, at a time it's going to return an entire result as an object now we need to subscribe to that result and get all our information out of it so that we will do in our component class in the next video tutorial we will create our component class which will subscribe to the result received from this method and extract all the data from that object so for now this should be end of this video tutorial we have completed creating the service class and in the next video tutorial we will start working on the component of our home page so thank you once again for watching please like and subscribe our video on our channel uh, tech howdy if you have any questions use the comment section and the code for this tutorial will be available in the devops repos and the link is provided in the video description thank you